We will start the demonstration by having Ed sign into SkyDRM. Once Ed signed in, he's notified that he's now online. And now Ed can go in and also sign in from his desktop uh, into Team Center as well. So he'll be signed into both SkyDRM locally on his desktop as well as signing into Team Center from that same desktop. Once Ed is into Team Center, he can load up and take a look at that transmission assembly that we spoke about earlier on that we'll be using during the demonstration. Here he can have a breakdown of the different components, and here we will see the IP classification. He can also go in and look at the uh, properties itself in more detail and go down through, and here we'll see the IP classification that was specified which as you remember we defined within policy uh, to be used for uh, users access into these files if they're allowed or not allowed access. Ed will now take a look through the structure manager and here we can see a breakdown of all the materials. In this case we're going to see that as well as the IP classifications that are specified for each of these parts and the assembly itself. So here we can have a drop down look at the values. He could change these up if need be. Uh, depending on the needs, as well as the next labs being able to protect that, uh, which is one of the uh, seamless integrations between Team Center and SkyDRM. Here you can take a look at the full assembly of the transmission. He can now load up the NX client. In this case, we get the full view from the NX client of the transmission, as well as the subassembly. So since Ed is in the headquarters, he has full access to the entire transmission and the subassembly, which you're seeing on the right hand side. He can go in and look at the different rights that's been applied to it from Next Lab. So, in this case, we're going to get a listing of information that'll show, based on each of these parts, what they can actually do with them. So, in this case, view, print, save, so on and so forth. Or if a part's not protected, it also shows that as well. Ed can now go out and export this transmission assembly. In this case, he's exported to uh, a local drive. And here we will see all the parts that are listed as well as the .nxl extension, which means that these are all protected by Next Labs. Here you can go out in Next Labs, view the file information for a particular part. And it'll show what's been applied. So view, print, reshare, save as. Again, he can look at different parts and show the different rights that are applied to each of these. He'll now go in and look at the uh, subfolder of transmission casing so we can see other assembly parts and pieces that are available that have been downloaded. Now we're going to go out and sign in as Jin. If you remember, Jin is one of the users that's uh, from China, from Acme China, and he's going to sign on to SkyDRM as well. And now he's going to take a look at the, those same parts that have been downloaded to that desktop. So in this case, when he views the information and tries to load it up, the SkyDRM viewer will show him what he has access to. So in this case, since he's from Acme, China, he has a view of the case itself. So he doesn't get to see the entire assembly, just the case and the associated parts of that. Here we'll see that if he views another file, it'll load up and he can actually see a breakdown of the case components in the different pieces that make up the entire case assembly but again, not being able to see the subassembly components since he doesn't have access to them. Here we'll see that he can go in in unmanaged mode, so there's a way not connecting to the Team Center instance that Ed was on, and look at it through the NX client. So here he can do a view. It'll load up what he's chosen as far as a part or the assembly itself. And now we'll see that those are the files that he cannot view and cannot be opened, but he can view the case and all the components that make that part up that he has access to.
and you'll see the other ones are grayed out. And the objects that he can view, he might have only read-only access to, and he can uncheck or check the ones that he can see, but the other ones will remain grayed out and he doesn't have the access to them. He can also look at the file rights here, and again, it's going to show the same thing that we saw earlier, where the, the ones that he can't see and the ones that he can see in this case are protected and what he has capabilities for those particular files that he could see. Now our last user, Sanjay, if you remember, Sanjay's from India LLC, Acme. He's going to go out. He's logged in through uh, SkyDRM desktop. And again, he can view and look at those parts uh, through the SkyDRM viewer as well. But as you can see here, he can see the subassembly components. He does not see any part of the case because he doesn't have access to it. Here he can expand out the list again. Again, sign in through uh, the NX client in unmanaged mode and look at a particular part when he opens it up. Here we'll see that there are certain parts that are protected again because he doesn't have access to them, but he does have access to the ones that he's allowed based on policy decision that was made based on that user and the attributes of both the files as well as what was defined with an Active Directory. So here he can see that subassembly, but can't see any of the case. So here, based on the three users looking at the same files, have different views of what they can and cannot view, and that's all based on SkyDRM and its ability to protect certain parts of the assembly from users and then the, having the ability to access it. And here we'll see Sanjay at the end being able to use the SkyDRM viewer.